So for this problem, the question asks, when you graduated from college, your parents, your grandparents gave you $30,000 in a bank account. Each year for five years, you added $1,000 to the account. After three years, you decide to withdraw $15,000 to buy a car. How much do you have left after five years, considering 6% APR compounded annually? So our first step is to draw our cash flow diagram. This is our timeline. In year zero, we have the $30,000. And in year five, we want to know what our uh, final value is, or future value. So then we have year one, two, three, and four. In each of those years, we invest a thousand dollars. And then in the third year, we withdraw fifteen thousand for our new car. So this problem um, it's easier to solve if we break out our cash flow diagram into the three components. So our first component is our $30,000 in our year zero. And we're trying to find that future value of that $30,000 in year five. Plus, we add $1,000 every year for five years. And we want to know that future value. And then uh, there's two ways to approach this next, the $15,000. With the way we drew our cash flow diagram, we would still consider it adding uh, this component of the cash flow diagram. But because our arrow is going in the other direction, we know that it's the opposite uh, flow of the money. So in year three, we withdraw all $15,000. And we want to know in year five, the future value. So from this cash flow diagram that, that we now have broken out, we can solve our three different equations. Our first equation is find F given present. Our second is find F given A. Oops. And our third is uh, find future given present as well. So we can fill in on these equations. Um, we can actually just fill in from our the factor tables. So our first factor, well, I'll break this out first. So we're going to have find F given P uh, at an interest rate of 6% and n equals 5 um, plus f given a 6% n equals 5 plus f given p 6% and here n equals 2. So uh, this part here is what you want to pay attention to in this problem, this part of the problem, um, the number of years for each of these. Um, so then we can actually fill our numbers in now um, using our factor tables. So here we're going to have our $30,000 times the factor of five, or, sorry, times the factor of 1.338 plus $1,000 times 5.637 and then plus negative times our factor of 1.124. So
so here it's important to notice uh, that you're technically subtracting, um, but because it's a negative 15. So you either need to do a subtraction or do a plus negative 15. Um, and that will give us, that will yield a final result after five years of $28,917.